So today let's discuss about the other part. Just simply. Ledger calendar. So after creating a physical calendar for any company, you should have the ledger calendar which will automatically create it in the system after creating a physical calendar. But what is the use of ledger calendar? So the use of ledger calendar is nothing but as, as we discussed yesterday, we have periods, right? January is the first period. February is the second period. March is the third period. If I am following a Jan to December calendar, right? So in a real time, no, all the periods will not be in an open status. So the period status will be available in the system as one is open status. The second one is permanently closed status. The third one is on hold status. Okay, these are the three statuses which will be available in the system. Okay, now in a real time or in like for our practice purpose, you can open all the periods and you can pose a transaction. But in a real time, currently in which month we are there? Are we in February or in March? We are into February. Only February period will be in an open status. Open is nothing but the month is open to post any kind of transaction. In the application, you can post any transaction in a February month. That is called as an open status. If it is an on-hold status, if any period is in an on-hold status, what will happen? That means I am holding the status. Any transaction cannot be posted when the status is on hold. System will throw an error. Boss, you are not supposed to post a transaction on this period because it is on hold status. Okay. Open is nothing but it will be open for a current month to post a transaction. On hold is nothing but it will block the period not to post any transaction during the month. What do you mean by permanently closed? On hold status, you can reopen to, you can modify. Like uh, if I put on hold, after two days, if I wanted to open the period, you can open it. Uh, on hold to open, open to on hold. These kind of activities, you can do it in the system. But whereas if you select as a closed, permanently closed, you cannot reopen the period in your lifetime. In that application for that particular legal entity, if you make any period as a permanently closed, that's all. You cannot reopen anymore. That is why people will not use the permanently closed option. People will always use the on hold option. If required, they will try to open and they will try to use it. So, okay. Hope this status is clear. First of all, why do we have these kind of restrictions in the application? Why in a real time, current month only is open? Why the previous month or next month, why it is not open? Can anyone tell me any guesses why it is not allowed? Not only this ERP, in any ERP, this kind of restriction is there. People will intentionally try to do some kind of gimmicks, uh, right? In the organization or in any kind of, in a college or anywhere. So they will say, if I say don't post for a January month, Intentionally, they will post for a January month. The backdated transactions or future dated transactions, March month or January month, they will try to post the transaction. That is not a recommendable. See, once you complete a January month, that's all. January is closed. You should not post any transaction once you come to February. If you are supposed to post any transaction for a January month in a February month, you have to take a special approval from the manager. If manager approves, if you have the approval notification or if you have approval email, 
then only you have to suppose to post a transaction otherwise it is very strictly restricted so i cannot say people that don't post don't post so definitely they will post this kind of transaction that is why erp has given a functionality that once you completed that month you can please keep the status as on hold okay so that i no need to inform any people if people whoever is trying to post the transaction for january month immediately they will get an error okay so that is how it will behave okay so this is a month end activity every month someone should open the period for next month and someone should close the period for a current month this access will be having for a only functional consultants either to finance finance consultants will have the access to open the period and close the period for example in my company i have 15 legal entities today is a february 28th i need to wait till february 28th night 10 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock what i need to do since i have only 15 legal entities i have to manually open the march period for every company and i need to close the february period so two activities i need to do in each company two activities one is a open march period and close the like and put the on hold status for a february so each company i have to log in and i have to do that activity since i have very less number of companies 15 legal entities okay manually as a finance consultant somebody has to do this kind of activity maybe it is a manager interest like uh, like they will assign some kind of work to you right if they like if we have four kind of finance consultants this month they will give for a first person next month they will assign this task to some, some other person like that they will shift the task also okay but for example if i have 100 legal entities what will happen it's very difficult right manually if i wanted to do log into every company and do the activity it's very very difficult then how can we do this kind of activity in a real time so few companies will take a developer help a technical person will write some kind of bad job okay one job will he will write it in this bad job what he will mention whenever the month end comes check which month end comes okay close that month end and check the next month starts open that month like some kind of coding will be written by the developer okay and he will schedule a time so exactly february 28th 11:45 to 12 o'clock time or some at some time the bad job will execute automatically you no need to do anything okay the bad job will execute automatically it will perform the activities that's all if we have multi big company like large number of companies and all they will follow with the bad job the period open or close so in in your interview point of if they ask you you can mention we have very less number of legal entities in our company we used to do manually if you say what is a bad job and all you have to tell the names and all so that is why so we don't know what kind of name they will be using in a companies right they will mention it as a ledger calendar up, status update some kind of name they will use as a bad job ledger calendar status update this kind of bad jobs they will create this is a not a standard one okay it is a customized one which developer will write it and they will use it for a company purpose this is about a ledger calendar hope it is clear so now let's move on to the application and see how we can open and period open and close the status also we will also try to learn that so my company let's log into our company okay so just go to general ledger module we were discussing about a calendar right under a calendar session you have already created a physical calendar quickly let's verify what is your calendar 
once you drop down here, your calendar will display. I think this is my calendar. MT01 is my calendar. 2022 to 2023. Okay. Now, let's go to the ledger calendar. Okay. Physical calendar is done. And now we are talking about a ledger calendar. Click on ledger calendar. If you can see, I don't find any, any information here. If you drop down your calendar and select it, I can see the year, physical year 2022, physical year 2023, but period 1, January, period 2, February, but I don't find anything. Click on edit. I can't add my legal entity here. Okay. I can't update a period status. Why, it, why is it so? Because you have to do one more modification here to get the details. Okay. Just duplicate the tab. You have created a physical calendar and you should tell the system that boss, I'm using this physical calendar for my company code. Okay. That kind of intimation you should give it. Right. So till yesterday, we have created a chart of accounts, right? We have created an exchange rate. We have created a physical calendar. Everything we are creating it. But are we adding to our company? No, till now we did not add to our company at all. So now it's a time to add to our company. So go to modules. Go to general ledger module. Ledger setup. Ledger form. Very important form, ledger form. Here I need to specify what are the chart of account, what is the physical calendar, what are the things I am using it. Then only I will be able to post any kind of transaction in my company. This is very important form. You need to, whatever you have created, you have to tag it here. So what is your chart of accounts? Drop down. I think MT01 is my chart of accounts. Please select that. What is your physical calendar? MT01 is your physical calendar. For time being, because I only created chart of accounts, physical calendar, accounting structure and all, I did not create it. I am not going to add it. Regarding this form, I will discuss briefly in a later sessions. For time being, I am only adding Accounting currency, reporting currency. Okay, just I'm adding this information. Now, if you can go back and do the refresh here. Perfect, right? I have informed the system. I'm going to use this is a calendar. Now, if you see for this calendar, I can see MT01 is updated. Now, okay. This is a period one, right? I am into period two. For us, by default, it will open all the periods. You see, period 2 is open, period 3 is open, period 4, everything is open since it is a demo environment. In real time, what we will do, if it is a period 3, I will op I will just put it as an on hold status. On hold, open, permanently closed. Okay, you can put it as an on hold status. Recently, in one of the interview, it's a very simple question. They have asked how many period statuses are available in the application. Three period statuses are available. Very simple, right? On hold, open, permanently closed. Yes, I can put it as a on hold and save it so that I cannot post any future data transactions. Okay. For example, let me try to put it as a permanently closed. It will throw an error. Like it's not an error. It's an info log it will give system. Cannot be reopened. Okay. If you want it to still permanently close, of course you can close it. You cannot reopen back. That's all. That's what the indication system is giving to us. Click on that. I don't want to put it as a on hold. So ledger calendar will be helpful 
to maintain the period status to open closed permanently closed so for every company we need to have this kind of information hope this is clear and if you see period 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12, 12, 12 till december and period 13 and there is a period 0 usually we have only 12 periods right what is this extra periods period 0 and period uh, 13 what is that so these are the special periods period 0 period 0 start from january 20, like it's a first first day and period 13 these are the two special periods in any case if you wanted to post a transaction see it is a first day of your first month and your period 13 will be last day of your physical calendar so if we have these extra two periods now what will happen in any case if you wanted to post some kind of adjustment entries what do you mean by adjustment entries so adjustment is entries is nothing but for example i supposed to make some payment to bindu uh, on february month something like 20000 i need to make a payment as i made a payment of 18000 and 2000 i forgot i thought of paying a amount in a next month next month next month but i couldn't make a payment now the year is closed like uh, whatever the tra- whatever the agreement or whatever something has been closed but now i am planning to make the 2000 to her how can i do that so all the periods has been closed so i will use a special period period 13 and i will record this transaction that i have made a payment to bindu 2000 rupees like that some kind of adjustment means if you wanted to adjust that money or if you want if you missed any transaction to post or something that can be recorded at the end of the period in a special period cell so that is called as a special period and adjustment entries so hope ledger calendar is very clear